Hello and welcome to Emergence. This is the first in a series of tutorial videos that will teach you all about the different features and how-tos for the Emergence protocol. Over the course of these videos we'll be providing you with step-by-step -step instructions of how to best leverage the features of our SDK as well as sample projects for you to follow along with and use in your own projects. So let's start off with talking a bit about what is Emergence and give an overview of our feature set. Emergence is a Web3 protocol for game developers plugging into game engines such as Unreal Engine and Unity through our Emergence SDKs. Emergence empowers game developers to dive into the world of Web3 through easy-to-use tools and samples to fully take advantage of what Web3 has to offer. Even if you are new to the world of Web3 and blockchain, our APIs and tools make it easy to use and we provide a lot of samples and examples so you can level up your Web3 knowledge along the way. The core features of Emergence consist of our overlay, which incorporates a Wallet Connect system, the Persona system, smart contract APIs, an interoperable avatar system, and NFT inventory services. Our easy-to-use tools allow players to easily sign into your games using their crypto wallets, while giving the tools to game developers to have utility and make use of the user's NFT items and embed them in their games seamlessly. Emergence is designed to be the easy on-ramp for the open metaverse made available in games, virtual worlds, virtual reality, and more by integration of the Emergence SDK. Let's dive into some more specifics. The Emergence SDK supports Wallet Connect. This means that your users can connect their favorite wallets to your game in a secure way, so you can make requests to them to perform actions like signing messages, and or transactions, and then broadcast them to a network. Wallet Connect is fully EVM compatible and currently expanding its chain support with additional partners. But today we support major chains like Ethereum, Polygon, and more. Personas are what we call digital identities. They portray a name, bio, and a signed avatar. Through our services, game developers are able to pull data from the player's active persona and request a signed message from the user's wallet. This allows users to carry a single identity across multiple games. The authentication method to access these personas is wallet-based. We see this as a massive step towards interoperability and users can create personas, customize them, and through the integration of Emergence be able to load these personas into any game world. Let's take a look at how this looks in a game. All the UI and functionality we see here is what you'll see in your game after the initial getting started setup. The initial setup takes less than five minutes and will allow any users to connect to their wallets and load their personas into your game. You can see more in our getting started with emergence tutorial in the card which will be on screen now. Now onto our avatar system. One of the challenges in the web3 space is that users are collecting profile pictures but with no easy way to use these characters in a metaverse space. Through our emergence avatar system we have built the smart contract technology and game engine tools so that NFT avatars can now be used between game worlds. We are currently supporting the VRM file formats, but we will be expanding on the system to support FBX and more. This system will allow users to use their NFT avatars seamlessly across open metaverse virtual worlds, both built with Unity and Unreal Engine. Let's take a look at an example here. So as you can see, we're in the overlay in an example project. I open it to my first persona, which is associated with this uh, red devil sort of character. When I select it, it loads it in. I can run around for a bit with it. Then I can switch over to a different persona and it loads that one in. Our final core feature to go over is the inventory service. The inventory service provides dynamic metadata functionality, so developers can provide utility to their NFTs. Our first use case is to provide categorization of NFTs. Our categorization system allows you to know what is an avatar, a prop, a weapon, or a piece of clothing. We provide read-write functionality so creators can load in NFTs that provide utility into metaverse experiences and allow developers to write back to these NFTs through dynamic metadata. We picture developers utilizing this system to maybe first look at providing context and utility to NFTs, but we also see game makers using this functionality for interesting use cases, such as saving data about the state of the object, or saving story actions onto an NFT, knowing what epic battles were won using a specific NFT, as an example. 
We see a lot of potential with the growth of this system. We're excited to see how game makers will make use of this. NFTs are game objects in our minds, and in such we build the tools to interact with them like any other game. A great use case is when you want to use an existing NFT in a game, but it doesn't have any functionality for your game. You can use the dynamic metadata to alter it, like any other NFT, but without the cost of ever interacting with the blockchain or having to update the NFT to actually function how you want it to. Let's take a look at the example here. So in this example we're looking at a lab, I click on a sword, I open my inventory and in the inventory we can see the dynamic metadata. You can see the categorization system, which for this one it has both weapon and it has one-handed sword, but also you can see that it has additional data. This additional data shows how it is transformed when it is attached to the player character. So it has a scale, as, it, as the original model is too large for this game world, it's scaled down. It has a rotation, which is how it is rotated in the hand, and a location, which is how it is gripped in the hand. This is just a very basic example of additional data you may want to attach to game objects using the dynamic metadata system. Two of the main takeaways that we feel Emergence provides is interoperability and utility. As we look towards building an open metaverse, not a closed one, the importance of having interoperability of assets, personas, avatars, and more across game worlds is critical. Web3 is about putting ownership of data back into the user's hands and not the hands of a few big companies. To support that, metaverse worlds need to embrace interoperability, so users have control over their data and can use them in interesting ways. Utility is another major takeaway here, and while this term is used a lot in the Web3 space, the reality is most NFTs today provide very little utility. The tools we've built allow game builders to treat NFTs as typical game objects to provide utility, reading and writing to NFTs, and using them in novel ways in their games. We look forward to having you dive into Emergence and start unlocking the opportunities of building in the open metaverse.